All right, welcome to the lighter side of the dark side. It's your weekly freak show here on Renegade Radio. Also, Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, Deezer, Google, tune in wherever you're listening to us. I am Dark Mark, the goth comedian. I'm very excited. It's going to be a great, great show. Right there, everybody's favorite vegan heavy metal DJ, Hannah Bach. Hi, guys. How are you, Hannah? I'm good. How are you? I, I'm good. Uh, Just good? You're really excited. I'm very excited because, uh, <laughs> uh, Hannah, what was the first time you saw Revenge of the Nerds? I was maybe three or four. I was really small. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your, your parents Your parents uh, had you played you Revenge of the Nerds? Uh, they were absent. As a toddler? So, yeah, I would, they were absent, so I watched pretty much whatever I wanted. And then, you know, it just how, how, grew at, up with it. At three, what drew, drew you to the nerds? It was just on TV, and oh, okay. yeah, it was entertaining for well, me. Well, then you and know then... who this is. <laughs> I do. <laughs> as with the uh, other uh, 80s actresses we've had in here, such as Diane Franklin, they don't age. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, you're beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful Julia Montgomery. Oh, so kind. Yes. <laughs> who everybody knows with with the infectious laugh, which every, who everybody knows as uh, played Betty Childs. Mm-hmm. Resident Nerds one. Most people don't know three or four existed, but you did that too. One and also... Four. Other great uh, movies such as Up the Creek. <laughs> uh, what's the what's the horror movie that just was re-released? Oh, oh was it just re-released? Girls Night Out. Girls or, Night Out. I mean, there have been several horror movies. Done Stop or my mom will shoot. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Days yeah. of Our Lives. Uh, One Life to Live. One, One Life to Live. live. I used to tell people do that when I was little. The original Samantha Vernon. Oh, yeah. yes. Sam and, uh, Brad's sister. The girls knew me because he was so darn. He's so cute. <laughs> Anyway. We're going to talk about all of that, your we amazing are. career. And next to you, <laughs> it's an aspiring actor. I would say aspiring, but he I call him the Lon Chaney of the 21st century because he can morph into anything. And today he's got quite the nerdy look. Well, thank you. He's, That's, a, uh, he's Brett adorably Gustafson. nerdy. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here, Mark, again. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, it's it, I haven't had you. Last time you were on, last time he was on, he was dressed as a clown. <laughs> oh, Very God. scary clown, which is one of his... When he cosplays and does haunted houses, he has all these characters. Oh, my God. Clown is one of them. I love clowns. Yeah, do, do the face. He's got that face. That uh, was funny. Oh! Yeah, yeah, he's got the face. Oh. And, <laughs> and we also had uh, we had a tug of war over broken glass. Our, our engineer Whoa. fainted on that show. What? But I know we're not going to get that that deep uh, today. Yeah. So. It was a memorable night. Yeah. Well, I'd like to hear the details. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, there was a... Yeah, it was, <laughs> Tug of war. There was somebody had uh, uh, fish hooks in his eyelids. Another guy had uh, what had uh, yeah. It, they were having a tug of war. One guy had uh, uh, there were a chain in his ears, and the other had uh, fish hooks in his eyeballs, and they were going back and forth. And wow, yeah. okay, barefoot over broken glass. <laughs> Sounds yeah, like my kind stuff. of show. How do you top that? <laughs> yes. Dangerous D introduced me to him, but yeah. uh, you guys also have met before. We'll talk yeah. about that yes. before we get started. We got to do this. first off before we get started. I want to say happy birthday. To Hannah's grandfather, Aww. who's the Instagram star. He mm. is. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy Grandpa birthday. is 80, 80 what? 86. 86. Oh, yeah. yes. Wow. Big Revenge of Nerds fan, I would imagine. He actually, yeah, he, he's very familiar with the film. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. that's funny. So uh, he must be very excited. Uh, happy birthday, Grandpa. We were trying to get him to the studio. Yeah. Oh, how fun. He's quite a character. He and is. then um, also we got to do our sponsors really quick. Audible. Audible. I love Audible. You can Audible. have any book you want. Uh, my suggestion, no, no, I, I'm glad you love Audible. Okay. Because I've got a deal for anybody who ha- who hasn't tried it and you were recommending it. Mm-hmm. If you go to audibletrial.com mm-hmm. forward slash DMS for the Dark Mark Show, audibletrial.com forward slash DMS, any book you want, and two free Audible originals. Now, the book I would recommend, obviously, is there's a lot of nerd books. You'd be surprised how many nerd books there are. Really, hmm. I, I think I would be surprised. There's like nerd erotica. There's like uh, there's a, one what? called nerd BBW. erotica. Yeah, I think Ooh. I need that. BBW meets nerd and punk. Uh, there's uh, all sorts of nerd erotica, <laughs> uh, but the one I would recommend because I'm I'm pretty sure you're mentioned in it. Oh yeah, it's Curtis Armstrong's uh, autobiography. If I wasn't Revenge mentioned in it, I would kill him. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Curtis Armstrong his, will of course play Booger. His his book is. Fantastic! Like you can hear him when you read it to yourself. Well, then it's an audio book, so audible, he's reading it. And I, I got it on Audible as I was as I started to read. It. I went, you know what? I already hear his voice as I'm reading it, but I'm getting it in Audible. This is going to be so much fun. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, and, 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 and uh, hilarious, I would imagine, because Curtis oh, was great. 
Oh, he's so funny and he's so talented. Like, I, and the book is great. It's like ten hours of him talking about his career, including Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. And he must talk about you a little bit. He does. Well, okay. yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. He better. Huh? You can get he that. Did. He did. Mm-hmm. I read it. I heard it. I listened. Of course. And you know, we used to have a deal where you just get a book. Now you get two Audible originals in in addition to the book. That is really cool. Such, such as uh, Bob Newhart has a show where he interviews uh, other comics. Bob they Newhart. have. Uh, a play, uh, a John Lithgow's one man play. They have uh, science fiction uh, books. One was read by John Waters, another was read by Zachary Quinto of the new vampire series uh, Nosferatu. All sort, cool. whatever you want. You get two Audible originals free wow. and Curtis Armstrong's book, A Regiment Nerd, or whatever. That you is want. the that alone, Curtis is. That's a yes. reason to get it. AudibleTrial.com dot com forward slash DMS. I know, Mark. I have it. I know. <laughs> No, uh, are you Sorry. vegan? No. Okay, well, it doesn't matter because our other sponsor is a terrific restaurant. Uh, uh, I'm just going to tell you all about it. Doomies oh. Home Cooking. Doomies Home yeah. Cooking. D-O-O-M-I-E-S. Mm-hmm. They have the next max, and then next to that they have um, the burger shop where you can get burgers, cake, shrimp pork No, boys. not just that because anybody has veggie burgers. It's on the corner of Fountain and Vine. Okay. Mm-hmm. 1253 Vine Street, right where the M bar used to be. I may want to go there. Everybody's got vegan burgers. Yeah. Every, I mean, Burger King's got them now. This place has pulled pork sandwiches, mm. chicken parmesan, mm. shrimp po' boys, a vegan, vegan delicious. Mac. You ever been to Doomies? Uh, when I worked the, um, the Haunted Hayride, I think in 2014, they yeah. had like the truck and they actually had the food there that people would get. So it, it was, was great, huh? It was, yeah. Wow. I'm really impressed by it. Well, now they have uh, Doomies Home Cooking. They have two restaurants, the Mexican restaurant. We went there uh, a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I had a big... Carne asada, wet burrito is delicious. You mm. have the chili relleno. Yep. Mm. The always. nachos were voted one of the ten best nachos <laughs> in LA. I'm hungry now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we and, can and, do this show. And, yeah. <laughs> we went on her birthday. We had some fried Oreos. It was mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys are so cool. Twelve fifty three Vine Street, or they have a restaurant now in Culver City. Oh. Or Toronto, Canada. Oh, let's go there. Yeah. I think yeah, let's go to Canada. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're going to go to Canada and go get some doomies after the show. That would be yeah. kind of cool. Yes. I think the hand motion really sells it, the Firenze. Firenze. Yeah. Mm. And they have mm. uh, like chili cheese fries. You can <laughs> oh, add chili vegan bacon great. to it. Mm. I'm going to be amazing. over there exactly. after this show. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Tell Phil I, t- I, I, I tell Phil I said hi. Now, when was the first time you watched Revenge of the Nerds, Brett? Man, yeah, definitely a while ago. Uh, I remember my <laughs> summer, summer vacation uh, <laughs> when my dad had... Um, the movie channels to show how long ago it was, but uh, I was able to watch it in its entirety. I'm like, TMC. Yeah, you know, I think I, I saw the second one first, so it was really cool seeing the oh, first one. Oh, that's bad. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you that story in a little bit when you're yeah. when, I, when yeah, I'm not that's interrupting coming, that's coming. again. Yeah, go, <laughs> go ahead. So you, you saw the second one first. Oddly enough, I, I, you I'm know, very upset with for, you. Well, it wasn't my choice, you know. <laughs> It'd be worse. He just was on old school HBO days. Yeah, that's uh, how I know. Yeah, just giving me trouble. Mm-hmm. So yeah. no, but because uh, that that one's PG-13. Yeah. So when you got to see the R-rated original, oh yeah, Woo! no comparison, right? So that's why I was taken aback by it in a good way. I'm like, ooh, yeah. It's a there's a wow. big big difference in quality and uh, and uh, content. Mm-hmm. But uh, and are you speaking of. Yeah. Storyline or naked bodies? Let's. Well, I'm talking about both. I'm talking about the acting, all of it. Okay. But let's 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 okay, start cool. let's start at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You're a Jersey girl. I'm a Jersey girl. Yep, I sure am. Where in Jersey? But although I wasn't born there, but I grew up there from six to eighteen, Livingston, New Jersey. Livingston, New Jersey. Yeah. And where is Livingston, New Jersey? I have no idea. It's right next to uh, West Orange. Hey, you know that, don't you? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's like. Um, it's just a little suburb near Morristown, and it's wonderful. It's a great yeah. little place. And where were you Mason born? High. Kansas City, Missouri. That's right. I I'm did a show see me that. state girl. I did see that. <laughs> yeah, so how, yeah. from Kansas to... to, to because my dad got it. He just kept on moving up in his you know business and was offered a job, a job in New York. And so, of course, we moved to New Jersey so we should, could be in the suburbs where the good right. schools were or whatever. And, it's, you know, I literally, when I was a teenager, I decided suddenly I wanted to do try or to do modeling so my mom took me into the city and from that that was like when i was almost i was like 14 and that went really well and that's when i became like forget it i am a city girl actually before that is i was i was like my dad used to bring us into the city to see shows as a fan like this little missouri family right (laughs) And like chorus line and like stuff like that. Line, shen- I mean, they were endless. My my dad, my parents were very, you know, my dad especially, but my mom was thrilled. You know, very like not cultural, but cultural, like, like Bob Fosse shows and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I saw I saw him. I 
I don't know if I saw them all, but I saw a lot. Right. So that was a thrill. I saw Angela Lansbury in Gypsy. And at the end of that, and I was like eight. I Somehow I remember that I was eight. I don't know why I remember that. But I remember by the end of the show, when I stood up applauding, I was like streaming tears. Like, I want to do this. I love this show. And, and then I worked with her. I was going to say, that's and the part I worked with her. Story. And she was You're amazing. You're on Murder, She Wrote. Yes. She was amazing. Did you tell her the story? I'm sure I did. She was down, un- unlike most you know, television regulars, they're not, they don't come down and rehearse with you right. all the time. She was always on the set, just a theater actress and, and just always there for you, the most incredible woman. And she set the tone, of course, for, you know, for the whole thing. And then later on, I saw her in Santa Monica, like years later. And she, we were standing in the in, in Santa Monica Seafood looking at our the fish. It's a pretty small store. Right. And we're looking at them. You really can't mistake Angela Lansbury. Like, okay. you kind of know, okay. That is definitely Angela. She, we're standing right next to each other. I said, Angela. She said, I said, I was on your show. She said, oh, I remember you. Whether she did or not, I don't know. But she was so kind. Nice. She's so she's so wonderful. She's one of the she's one of the good ones. She's she's one of the greats. Tom Selleck did not rehearse with you when you were on Magnum PI. <laughs> he did not, <laughs> but he was he's adorable. No, he did not. No, Peter Falk when you were on Columbo, he oh, didn't. I love Peter Falk. I love Peter Falk. He no, he didn't rehearse, but but he was. He was he just loved acting. So he was so yeah. there when he right. was there. He but just yeah, kind yeah, of seems, seems don't. to me so one of these people that just kind of like he's just out there and then when he's on the set yep. and then as soon as the scene's gone he's out there again. Well, you know, he likes to sit on the set. Like he was there I believe with his wife like just kind okay. of sitting in chair like just normal chairs just like hanging out. He's a very he was a very, you know, approachable he's just was such a darling man and such right. a fine you know actor and i mean that was that was a real treat but you were i mean because you were on a lot of tv shows as, as we're saying but right going back yeah. when you were in when you were in new jersey yes. not only were you a model at a young age <laughs> you were in school with a future actor jason alexander we were in plays together we were Jason Alexander, Jay Greenspan. From, 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 Jay. From, that's the thing. His real name is Jason Greenspan? Jay Greenspan. We played across from each other in Guys and Dolls, all these different shows in Livingston, whether it be high school. You guys went school. to high school together. Yes. You were in the same drama class together, and you did the Not play drama class, but we just, yeah, we ended it. We, we, we all auditioned and got the roles, and we just, it happened over and over because, you know, it just right. kind of happens that way generally. And then there were a couple, I think there were a couple of teen theater plays Teen theater. That sounds so. It was so fun. It was teen so theater. fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a theater nerd. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. Nerd. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Jay and Jay's um, just he's always he's always been incredibly talented. Yeah. He loved to rehearse. We would we would have rehearsals at each other's house, especially his his mom. His I'll mom's bet I'll house. bet he did. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that. But no, but he's he's just a fine he's a fine guy. He's a, he's. A, uh, it's great. You won't even call him by his stage name. He's Jay to you. He's always going to be Jay. To he's you. Jay. Yeah. Give me a break. Now, did you see <laughs> like of all the actors? Did you see? Okay, this is the guy. He's he's going to be successful. He was always talented. I didn't think I didn't think about it that way. I just was like more in the moment. I wasn't like thinking. Wasn't thinking that about myself. I wasn't thinking it about him. I just loved being in in the show. No, there was someone I did think about it about, but. But he didn't. He didn't even go into. He didn't go into it professionally. Oh, okay, so the one guy you thought was going to be a big star didn't. I also even do had a it. crush on the guy I'm talking about. Right. So you know that always helps because yeah. you're thinking. You're really right. thinking ahead. It wasn't. Jay. <laughs> it wasn't Jay. It wasn't Jay. No, but Jay was a doll. Jay, Jay was a doll. Okay, Jay's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, no. And, he's a really good guy. Right. And then you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me that way? No, no. I, I trust me. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I get I, I get called a great guy the same way a lot, but uh, no, oh, that's no, right. no, 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 no. Okay, no, I'm not saying that. No, no, no. no. Although, yeah, no, no we I'm didn't ever no, have, I, a, I we didn't have I, a thing. A couple of people I've known that know Jason Alexander have told me the same thing. He's a real, he's a real down to earth, real, yes, real nice guy. Yes, he is. He totally is. And Chelsea Handler a few years later went to that school. You know what? Yeah. It, unfortunately, I was just, I totally missed her. A couple her. years before, yeah. yeah. You were like a senior, she was a freshman. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Isn't <laughs> yeah. that bizarre? Just, just missed her. Totally. Yeah. So, uh, so, and then you uh, you got on is one life to live, not days of our lives. One life to live. Right. Good job. I, yeah. So that was your first acting job. Uh, no, I did commercials before that. Um, first, I did modeling. Then suddenly they were setting me up for commercials. 
started booking commercials, and then li- like it all happened very like. Was there like a big national campaign that you were in? Because I was trying to look was, at YouTube for some. Uh, oh, that's oh God! Wouldn't it be fun? I would love. I wish I'd had. Uh, you know, I did so. I did like Sears. I did Fifth Avenue candy bars. It was so fun. It was so fun. Yeah. Loves baby soft mist before your time. <laughs> Such like perfume for young girls. Oh, I love. Oh, is that what it was? Baby soft loves mist. Loves baby soft mist. Wow. Oh. I don't even. I don't even think I had to say it, but just thinking about. It. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I got the commercial, I was so happy because I'm like, I love this stuff. And I got to wear So were you like 15, baby. 16 and you were using it yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I, I did a lot of commercials. Like, yeah. And they were back then, you know, kind of all of them were, not all of them, but most of them were national commercials. I, mm-hmm. You know, I mean, some better than others always. But sure. The, you know. But anyway, yeah. Have you done the commercials, Brad? I'm sure you've uh, auditioned you'd be, for something. You'd be, I did a, yeah, you'd yeah, actually, be, yeah. Mm-hmm, uh, believe it or not, a Samsung commercial where I can believe it. It was, it was just my hands, though. Ah! <laughs> and uh, you got nice hands. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. and it was that's I, impressive. I, yeah, it was pretty. It was really cool. I had to pretty much manipulate what was going on on the screen. They shot that stuff first, and then I had to go in there and make it look like it made sense. And that was actually really hard. So it's like well, green yeah. screen with your hands. Also, mm-hmm. you have to be really not nervous if you're going to have just your like you ha- your hands have to yeah, be my, like my super like, relaxed. Yeah, <laughs> shaking. Like, much. I would feel like ah, mm-hmm. it's a lot of pressure on those hands. On well, those tell, paws. tell us about the audition. So uh, it was actually a call for a real mime. So I went there <gasps> and yeah, I had like some mimeish clothes on, but I didn't do the makeup. But there were some <laughs> guys in there that had like the, the mime oh, makeup no. on. Have you done mind training? I thought you probably have, right? Or like actually, I just on a self exploration. I did. I studied it in theater a little bit, and I just it was, it was a lot of fun. So I bet it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So you were you were actually you were very relaxed for the audition. You're like, okay, I can do mm-hmm. this. Kind of just take it for what it was. Yeah. And, so is it, they have you do the wall thing and the... <laughs> well, they they had like your hands up on a thing, just gonna see how they looked and how they moved, and you know, like all right, now pretend you're throwing these cards and pretend you're manipulating cables and stuff and. It was interesting. I went in with a grain of salt, and then I got a callback for it. It was pretty cool. Were yeah. your hands more nervous on the callback? Actually, <laughs> they weren't bad. You know, I, I think that's. I really, yeah. honestly, think that's really impressive. Yeah, uh, it was. I, it was cool. Because mm-hmm. I just can't imagine. But those are always know. the ones. Those are always the ones that you ace when you're not even thinking about. It. You're like, exactly. Oh, I'll just go but for the if you experience. think too much about, it, like on the callback, yeah. I could be like, oh, my hands won't move right. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So yay. Absolutely, yay. yeah. Yay. So it was. It was pretty cool. We. Uh, you know, all these products that were coming out and we shot in these ridiculous houses, you know. And it was oh, like really? a team of 50 people looking at me, waiting for me to do everything. Like, all right, let's do it again, let's do it again, do it again, yeah. You was that su- out of New York or here? Oh, sorry. sorry. L.A. It was here. Yep. So, yeah, you have to be super precise with every little moment. So, right. I bet. I have a bigger respect for all those little yeah. hand commercials. Because you moved here from, was Pennsylvania? Uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, my geography is all over the place. So. <laughs> you, you're, you've got to be an East Coaster, aren't you? Uh, originally, but I, we moved when I was a kid. Yeah, so I, I can I've hear got, it. I love East parents. Coasters. Mm-hmm. So this is where we're in good company. Yeah. All right. Well, good. I was going to say, I was going to say, I didn't know when I booked you, I had no idea that you had met Hannah at one point. Yeah. Yeah. 2013. It's when he first moved here. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. You saw him right when he got to town. How? Well, yeah, it was closing night at Bar Sinister, and I walked out. And I don't know how we started so talking. I think bar. I complimented your your outfit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like it was yeah right near the stage area, yeah. so you could actually hear everyone, which is cool. Uh, yeah. at, towards the end of the totally. night, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And I, I haven't seen you since, except for on social media. <laughs> <laughs> it's and, crazy. And, and, you know, he's hanging out with Dangerous D. He's doing all sorts of weird stuff. We got to yeah. check him out at a haunt. We're gonna talk about <laughs> all sorts of stuff. <laughs> So by the way, he just did the, the nerd snort, so we better good segue. <laughs> it was good. It was good, good segue because you were in a few movies. You were in, like I say, you were in that uh, that horror movie that I forgot the uh, the name of it. Girls Night Out. Girls Night Out. Some people say with, with okay. Hal Holbrook. Yeah. Well, no, no, with David was Hal in it for a little minute too. David, I, his son. Rutania oh, is that how they got him? Yes. Because I was looking at this, it looked like a low-budget schlocky horror movie. I'm well, sure you were. Well, kind of was. It. <laughs> it was so fun, though. I had so much dialogue. It was so unusual. They usually, you know, underwrite so right. much, especially for the women. But this was, it was really fun. I, I don't think it like when people come up. There's there was a have been a few people at these Comic Con events, whatever. Mm-hmm. I was shocked out of my mind that somebody came up and said, "You were in Girls Night Out." I'm like, what? <laughs> Uh, uh, Hannah, I know you're a horror movie aficionado. Yeah. This is Brett. Girls' Night Out has uh, oh god the, the, the instead of Freddy or Jason, the killer turns out to be a mascot wearing a bear outfit. If yes. I'm not mistaken, oh. yes. And the great Hal Holbrook apparently is in the first scene. 
Yeah, exactly. I yeah, wasn't I guess you didn't worry in I that scene. I wasn't there in that scene. Yeah. But so I it's something I definitely want to check out. I wasn't able to find. So that's how I <laughs> that's how I met you. Was at the eighties <gasps> in the desert. I convention. think I have a, a copy. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. Now I was gonna ask you a couple things about that because what? Okay, eighties in the desert, I went to a few weeks ago, my friend uh uh, Kevin and uh, Jack, they, uh, they, uh, you're the two nervous guys I came that I, I went to yes. the table, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, they, uh, this was a convention, and they had cool people there, but sparsely attended. Oh, it's, well, I guess it was the first year yeah. at this location. I also did eighties in the in the sand, and I'm going back again. I yeah, did it in November. That's huge because right. it's been. I think it's only actually been about three years, but it's. People go for the, do, I mean, the whole week. It's all mm-hmm. inclusive. They, whatever they pay, they pay the whole thing. They have so much fun. Then they come back the next year and the next year and right. the next year. And like people who came to 80s in the desert, like, are you going to be there in, uh, in November? I'm like, I think so. And then I'm, yeah. I saw the producer. I'm like, Steve, am I going to that? Like, have you invited me? And he's like, I haven't. Yeah, but I, I was supposed to have. I'm like, okay, well, call me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I mean, but it, but it's really fun. The, yeah. Okay, so this one was a brand new. So yeah, it was not well attended. Also, it was what was it? It was the um, oh the Rio. No, no. Well, no. Well, the Rio, the Rio was okay. Yeah, I mean, I was, I've been to Star Trek conventions there where it's just been packed. It just, oh yeah. I just wasn't no, advertised it, well. I don't think, and uh, it wasn't. It was that. Oh, and then somebody made the point. It was like it's sort of the time of year of graduations, of all kinds mm. of important family things. Right. And it was also uh, the Kentucky Derby. Ah. I don't know that that would pull from the same crowd by any right. means, but it was just someone said this was the wrong weekend, and they tried to talk anyway. So, I think, and then someone else said when something starts at a, at a certain location, it takes mm-hmm. a little bit of being there. Right. Couple years to kind of build it up, so we'll see if, if Steve does it again. But he, the one, the one in the Dominican, which I'm doing again next November, is yeah. so much fun, and it's a resort. That's you're, what I understand. You're at the beach. You've got all these pools. I don't like to be in the one where all the concerts are because people are in there like all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with their drinks. Well, they had. I which mean, they had fine, bands. At, they had they, bands you know, at night. They had uh, Thomas oh, Dolby yeah. and Missy oh, yeah. and yeah. Oh, the great, great bands. I I would go to the night events and right. dance and. But uh, so you so I'm I'm sitting there this '80s cornucopia. We got Mike Damone, uh, Robert Romanos from Fast Times <gasps> yes! at Bye, oh, Robert guy. Hayes from Airplane. <laughs> yes. You and Brian Tochi yes. who played Takashi. Yes. And Resident Nerds. And apparently, you guys went to see Cirque du Soleil later that Yes. Ooh. How was that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. We saw the show called Mm Oh, and I was spellbound. I really was. I'm thinking about bringing my dad out from Kansas City Mm -hmm. and maybe trying to get my somehow bring my two kids, which is somehow this summer. I'm like, Mm -hmm. oh, it'll be it'll be Las Vegas in the summer. But whatever. You know, my dad's 92. Right. Bring him now. Right. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. He would get grandpa. We'll get the whole the whole. Yeah. 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 It's such a great show. I was again. Crying. It sounds like I cry a lot, but not that much. Just sometimes. Right. Did it bring you back to when you did theater and like kind of like touch your heart? Is that why? Oh, it so touched my heart. I I really only did theater as I was growing up. Funny mm-hmm. enough, I then I just switched to t- television and film. Mm-hmm. I, and now I'd be like, I'm sure I could do it, but I would be ter- I would be like terrified. Right. I would be terrified. But I think it would be fun because yeah. I would love the idea of uh, um, not auditioning. Uh, rehearsing Mm -hmm. and being directed in a show that continues to go on and you know hopefully it goes on right (laughs) (laughs) but you know that whole experience so Revenge of the Nerds the musical Ah! Ooh. Oh, you my know, God. I can actually see that happening. I, <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Well, we're gonna get to that, but so you were in uh, you were in a teen comedy before Revenge of the Nerds. You were in Up the Creek, <laughs> which was like a meatballs knockoff. Now that's a bad movie. That's bad. Okay. Now that's a bad movie. <laughs> that's bad. I mean. That worse That's than, worse than stewardess school. I was going to say, is that, <laughs> is that worse than stewardess school, which, uh, okay. <laughs> On the list of bad to worse. Hey, wait, wait, is it worse but than Stop or My Mom Will Shoot? Well, no, I think Stop or My Mom Will Shoot is a good, well, I love. Ed I've never Harrison. seen it. I've never seen it. I, uh, well, I, I actually was looking on IMDb and people were like, I don't know why people hate on this. It's actually funny. 
Uh, yeah. Oh no. I'm sorry. I was thinking of milk money. I'm sorry. I was. Thinking I love of, milk I, money. I, that's what I, that's what I, <laughs> you know who's in milk I, money? I, I, are you? I just. It was a very, very small part. I'm the mother of the lead girl, and I'm just. Oh. I have one scene, and it's very, very. Melanie I'm gonna Griffith? go back and watch it. Not with Melanie. No, I'm in a dress shop. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's very. It's so. But I love. That's who, for some. Well, uh, that's who I thought yeah. you were when you're you saying Stop. Was, Stop. And, and so, Stallone, and, and Estelle Parsons. They were great. He was a, he was very funny. I was in the elevator with him with with Stallone, and and of course in the scene with him. But he he was at that time at whatever year it was surrounded surrounded by Early women. Early nineties, yeah. <laughs> and Estelle Getty hot off the Golden Girls. Oh, she's <laughs> such a pip. You know, yeah. she's so so. Well, funny, I was looking talented. at because I've never seen it. I and I'm looking at IMDb and people are like, I don't know why people are hating on it. It's funny. I'm like, yeah, uh, maybe I should see it. Yeah. <laughs> That's because the one that it, I, I, I think Stallone can be funny. He did a movie with Dolly Parton. Everybody says it's horrible. I thought it was funny. I really like him. Yeah, as an actor, he did you Oscar. Know? That was pretty funny. And, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so uh, why do they give him so much trouble? What's uh, what's wrong with uh, people? I think he survived. He come out the other end. I guess he did. Milk Money <laughs> is about uh, this kid hires a prostitute to marry her, uh, his dad. Well, yeah. he doesn't hire to marry the dad. They want to see some, you know, lady parts. So they all get their money together. And then oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, kind of, oh, yeah, kind of snowballs Good into point. this thing. She's running from her crazy pimp, right. and he wants to hide her in his treehouse. And I Harris love and that Melanie movie. Griffith. They're, they were That's, pretty yeah, hot are, couple. Yeah. yeah. I, I'll have to look watch Milk Money. I don't know. <laughs> you Hilarity do. in the suit. Was there, <laughs> was, there, was, there, was there shenanigans going on in the sets? I'm not saying anything. Oh. There's always oh, shenanigans oh, going oh, on on the sets. Come on. Ed Harris and Melanie. So there was a lot of chemistry between there Ed was Harris so much and Melanie Griffin. Chemistry. Yeah, and you could see it on the screen. Oh, oh really? Yeah. My well, God. now we've had some things verified <laughs> about milk money. <laughs> also, I think both of them. I've always thought Ed Harris was to die for. Really? Like, just his vibe, like his. His like charisma. demeanor. Yeah. Well, he's, he's a great just, actor. He's a, there's no he's question. A great he's a great actor. actor. And I've Were you always hair like doesn't bother you? None of that? No. <laughs> you know, sometimes everything just goes away. And you just <laughs> yeah, you got the personality going. The freaking vibe at, of the person. I, I'm not gonna I tell feel you, like I'm, I'm blushing. Look at how you're glowing. <laughs> and Harris. <laughs> All right. He's no nerd, that's for sure. No. Well, you know. <sighs> he seems like Everybody's he seems a more nerd like inside. A, I guess. <laughs> So, so no, we all have. I think, our, yeah, whatever no, you're I passionate think, about, yeah, I think you kind of nerd out no, on it, no matter what it is. Mm-hmm. I think there's nerd in all of us, and mm-hmm. I think that's why my character in Revenge of the Nerds ended up falling for a nerd. Also, if you looked at the way you know Ted McGinley or Stan tr- treated me, well, are you kidding? Like mm-hmm. you, you can have the best guy ever or the most gorgeous guy, that, but he's not the best guy ever. Right. And look at and then look at Robert Carradine right. and Lewis, and you go, this guy it has endurance. This mm-hmm. guy doesn't care. So, He's embarrassed by going after Betty again and again yeah. in his dear way. And the older you get, I think at different so stages So what if he went life. down on me in the moon? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> we're going to get all that. Jumping ahead. Jumping ahead. Jumping ahead. So Ed, Ed, Har- Ed Harris, is, it was Ed Harris is hotter than Ted McGinley. Let's put it that way. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yet, we're talking different categories. Like, I, if if I had to choose, I don't know what I would do because I, I adore Ted. I'm just saying, not Ted. We're not talking about Ted. Well, right now, we're not talking about Ted. We're talking about Stan. Right. We're really not talking about Ted. That right. was a trick question. I know. Cut it out, Mark. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, I was. Because uh, Ted uh, is. Uh, Gloria, can you hand me the uh, DVD s- there? It's right uh, no, on the top uh, there. Oh, what? On the top there. I actually uh, had to buy the. <laughs> God, the-, the horrifying. Uh, <laughs> now this came out, and this is the DVD of Revenge of the Nerds, the Panty Raid uh, <laughs> collection edition. or something edition, yes. right, right? Now this came out in 2005 or 2007. I'm not really sure when. I can't believe as, as recent as that is. There's a horrifyingly photoshopped picture of Robert Carradine <laughs> on top of a, 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 some really long arms holding <laughs> a pair of panties that for some reason have lambda lambda lambda. On yeah, them. that's weird, isn't it? Here's what's also weird. Shouldn't they weird. say pie or something? You know, like pie? Yeah, exactly. I mean, what well, here's what's also weird. They have a documentary on here, which is, uh, mm-hmm. which is terrific. Oh. Where they interview the director. They interview uh, Robert Carradine, Tim Busfield, Larry B. Scott, all, all people in this movie. They interviewed you. They didn't interview or they did? They I, did, I, but you did not get credit at the end. Those fucking at the, imbeciles. <laughs> I'm telling you. At the end, they, they thank Amateur. everybody. McGinn, Lee, Carradine, oh everybody. Oh, my God. Not you. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I don't even think I saw it, but I am good. I want to see it. Like, I want to see the... I never saw the... <gasps> <laughs> That's yours now. No. Oh. That's what it is. I think oh you've God. earned it. Yeah. I think you have earned it. There's no question about <laughs> it. Thank you. No, no, that's all yours. 
Is it empty? <laughs> no, no, it's empty. <laughs> oh, yes. Seriously? But, no, no, of course, yeah. But uh, it's funny because people are like, are you going to have know, a rock graphic? I sign these all the time. Yeah, but you're not but on it. I was like, why am I going to have a sign? You're not even on the cover. You, you know should what? be. Okay, oh, here's my other that's grievance. Yours. Here's no, my no, other... That's yours. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Yes. The other grievance, which goes along with a lot of 80s movies, but I never understand it. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they... Okay. I All shouldn't right. say this, but I'm going to. It's not a bad thing, but it's just irritating. So there, there's a poster of Revenge of the Nerds. It's right. like the classic one, right? Mm-hmm. Neither one of those girls are anyone from the movie. Right. This certainly isn't it's me. It's Anthony Edwards, Robert Carradine, and two and a bunch of two, two girls, stray girls. Mm-hmm. One's supposed to be me, I guess. It's she's next to Robert. I mean, she looks like everything she's doing is is a Betty. Right. Well, she's it's, yeah, she's on his leg, and yeah. Like, uh, what? It's such, such a. I'm sorry. Ugh, damn it. It's like it's such a man's world back 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 then. Like, yeah. why would they put? Why don't they put the girls on there? Us, the real right. girls. And that's what kind of drove people to go to the movies anyway. Mostly, well, you know. Yeah, girls. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It's sort of like it just doesn't make sense. So anyway, I won't go on because. No, I, I, you have a point. Get all, there. I get all pissed off well, about it. Uh, before, it just doesn't before make we get sense. To the, before we get to the nerd talking, this is, I think it's going to be a lot of nerd talk. Okay. Hopefully, um, because last point, they wouldn't do that to the guys. Nope. No. Yeah, so we're just in a friggin' appendage. Yep. Not. Not. To not, me. not to. Not Brett. to Mark. Not to. Not, not to. Yes. Brett. No. No way. Our audience like can't see it though, but Mark's been smiling since the minute no, he I'm, walked I'm, in I'm the door. No, I'm enjoying the conversation. It's oh, this so is so cute. much fun. Well, because we're, we're having you're too much fun. As Julie, uh, you're building this movie <laughs> as Julie Montgomery. Well, I am, and that's my parents called me Julie. They named me Julia. Julia Elizabeth Montgomery, mm-hmm. not uh, unfortunately no relation to Elizabeth Montgomery, who I right. love and was one of my complete idols. Anyway, but so they named me Julia, but always called me Julie. So mm-hmm. I was Julie, Julie, Julie forever, which is fine. I like the name. And then in my mid twenties, I had a really great boyfriend, and he, I don't know how we got to this pot. I don't know what was going on. I don't know what if I was stoned or something. But he was like, you know what? What? Maybe I should go by Julie, Julia. Or, and then we, he and I decided we liked that. <laughs> he, I, he's and so, you just you changed with SAG and everything. I, just, a... I guess I had. To, I I don't know if I had to do that or not. I probably did. I guess yeah. my agent said, "Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't change your name because you don't want to mess with any. You know, right? You've already got that Julie called. Montgomery. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Was. I said I'm going to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so the documentary Robert Carradine and uh, or I think all three of them, Curtis Armstrong. Tim Busfield, they all said, we're not going to, we don't want to audition for a nerd movie. <laughs> exactly. Now, how about your audition? Were you reticent about being in a nerd movie? Not at all. Are you kidding? I'm just going to be honest. I had just come out to LA. I'd done Up the Creek. Mm-hmm. Fabulous movie. <laughs> We've already discussed. Uh, yes. But very, very fun atmosphere on that movie. Like, right. just camp like, you know, just Tim that's Matheson a whole other thing. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. On location, I'm in LA. I'm like, what is going on? This is really fun, even though it's a horrible movie. Then I right. got ner- I got auditioned for Nerds, and then they called me back, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <Nice. laughs> oh, my God. Mm. And then I met, I guess when I went back, I must have met Jeff Canoe. And then suddenly I the was director. screen testing. I was like, what? This is too fun. And, and mm. Jeff is a great director. Like, right. he is a doll. He is so talented. Mm-hmm. He's so actor you know connected it's well i think that's why why it, oh. the, even though there are some elements and we'll talk about that in a little bit i'm sure i think the <laughs> i the, the acting and the performance is what really shines through yes and um now it's certainly not the script even though i love the script it was cute it's a cute idea but it wasn't in the script well that's what that's what everybody says is yeah, that there was a lot of ad living around and the, the script was kind of it was okay. just a base it was just like a springboard and right. and steve and jeff very talented like great idea like everything but right. it wasn't in the writing. It wasn't in the direct. There was no written. Right. This came out of ensemble. Right. Yeah. Now, now you were about twenty four or thereabouts. Yeah. At the time? Yeah. Okay. And Robert Carradine's thirty. Mm-hmm. I'm John to, Goodman I'm plays the coach. Men. He's like thirty two. <laughs> I love John Goodman. Apparently, the guy that played the such dean a deer. is like six months older than Booger. Wow, <laughs> David Wall Booger. That's what they said. Yeah, on, on IMDb, Six they're like older they're than... like they're like like he's only. Well, your... see, I I have never because Booger was sense. thirty two. Well, see, I Curtis is so like I never would have no, wouldn't have bought. I mean, I always were went out with people ten years older than me, but I Curtis never wait, looked. Wait, 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 wait a second. What? You just hinted at something that I want to pursue. 
Why? <laughs> you said you always went out with older people. Did you and Booger have a little? Uh, did I, you and I Curtis was telling Armstrong? you that I didn't know how old Curtis was when you went down this road. <laughs> <laughs> so did you and Curtis? Uh... We had a very intense friendship, and you know there may have been more. Really? I'm a very loyal person. We, really? We just, All yeah, right, Curtis. Us. Yeah, yeah. Curtis? Well, he was, he's fantastic. He's so... Oh, he's, he's I, I so, think he's... Uh, he's Brett, an amazing person. Brett, back me up on this. I think an underrated comedy genius. I well, agree. Yeah. <laughs> Curtis Armstrong is very, very funny. Oh, and absolutely. Everything. Well, he's just so... Steals so, every scene that he's in. So talented. His absolutely. burps are real. What's that? His, His burps are burps real. His burps are real. That's mm-hmm. funny. No, they're not. Here they are. No, 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 no. No, no, no. not the big one. They're no, the really? big one was... No, no, no. They, 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 they had a camel <laughs> and somebody else on the crew burped and they matched the sounds together. And <laughs> what? Oh, wow. That's according to IMDb, but... Uh, is no, that right? you're right. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. First, I was, the, the rumor was that it was, it was a camel having sex, <laughs> but apparently I, they I, took I, a I, camel yeah. sound... And then one of the guys in the crew belched really loud, and they just kind of extended it in the audio. That's cool. I think that I know that. Yeah, the camel thing is right, and maybe they did that. I don't know. Yeah. I just do remember that definitely so, wasn't Curtis. Yeah. So he said he just like a, you know, that's what he did. Yeah. And a burp, and then. <laughs> but what? he's so talented. He made that look totally real. Did he not? He like, did absolutely. I yeah. mean, he's so. Well, talented. you're still. I mean, I was watching your acting reel today. Oh, what? Several times. <laughs> I. But it starts out with you and him. Oh, yes. It, it, what is that from? <laughs> That's from a short movie that we don't know, Curtis, and I don't know where it is. <laughs> we don't know. And it had nothing to do. Like, obviously, he was already cast. This was like his right. project. Like, it wasn't his project, but he was cast first or whatever. You know, it was. And I just happened to. No, I was working on another short film, and mm-hmm. the guy who played my husband on that said you should audition for this there's two roles one of the therapist and one of the uh which is the one i got and one of the wife right of course i wanted the one with the wife I'm like, I want to play Curtis's well you see you never got over booger i didn't <laughs> <laughs> i mean we won't tell your just... husband it's mm. <laughs> oh i'm i'm i filed for divorce in january <laughs> well, now you tell me oh my goodness Woo-hoo! ladies oh, not wow. out yeah. <laughs> but anyway um mm-hmm. Yeah, happiness, happiness. Uh, wow. Yeah, but no, but Curtis, Curtis and I are dear friends to this yeah, day. Yeah, we we just uh, the you know the problem with me and Curtis is we could just talk all night long and literally we would. I like, I could see that. Yeah, we, we seem we to just... have the same tor- sort of chemistry. You might think. <laughs> but uh, your 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 acting role is, is interesting because like every scene is has oh. to do with drinking. Ah. Uh-huh. The scene you have with Curtis Armstrong, you're trying to talk about not to drink. out. <laughs> and then you're with some uh, some guy like, playing your husband. That's and he's the like, guy who told me about the Curtis movie. Yeah, he's like, uh, and I'm wh- I am really ripped in that scene. No, no, I mean, no, not really. Well, there's one scene but, where I mean, no, there's one scene where he's line. like, you're like you're, you're saying that he can't get it up, and he's like, well, I need a drink. Wait, like, <laughs> no, you're totally make you're totally. It's on your <laughs> acting reel. It's on YouTube. I watched it five times. You can't times. get it up. No, he didn't have a job. Oh, is that no? That's the next scene. That's the oh, next I gotta scene. watch my reel. <laughs> yeah, that's the next scene where he can't get it up, and you're like, "I'm gonna drink as much as I want." And oh, your I was... acting is very good in all those scenes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I had a great time on that yeah. that little movie. That, that. Yeah. And anyway, I had a great time in that. So yeah, yeah. I can see how uh, somebody fun. somebody can uh, hang out with you and just talk all night. I can, I and can see smile. that. And hmm. smile. And smile. Yeah. yeah. I think I think Hannah's trying to hook we something had up. So much fun. But we'll, uh, let's let's get back to the nerds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Believe me, if you if you have to redirect me to the question again, please do because I'm just off on tangents here. Oh, we love it. Yeah, okay. we do. We, we do. Love we love it. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I've me, lost the question, but I'm like, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking to Brett at all. He's like, I, I just, just keep going. I love it. <laughs> Brett, <laughs> Brett's yeah. he's ready. Brett's ready for a question. Like, I'm ready yeah. to hear more about Brett. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you about more about Brett. I want to hear me, a little bit me, more uh, about Brett before we do that. All right. All right. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you some word association, okay? Oh, jeez. Oh, fun. Testing. These are all these are all people in Revenge of the Nerds. You give me what, do I do? what comes to your mind immediately. Okay, okay. One word. Okay. Okay. Anthony Edwards. Sweet. Sweet. Robert Carradine. <laughs> <laughs> a handful. Can I say two words? Or Is only he one? really? Yeah, but he's How so? he's a doll. He's a doll, but 
Oh God! Let, let, let's let's let's, let's get his face out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> how so? Well, he's an extremely talented actor. Mm-hmm. He's a complicated person. Yes. So when I when we did the first movie, mm-hmm. I was pretty young, right? I mean, right. I was like twenty three or four, and he was thirty. Yeah, no, but he had a girlfriend. Like he'd been in Mean Streets. He'd been like he'd been in a lot of. Oh books. yeah, yeah. So I mean, I was sort of like, oh my god, you know. And we always had chemistry, mm-hmm. but 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 we didn't. What was funny and, and interesting yeah. was we had chemistry on screen, but we didn't have a friendship. We didn't have a a hate ship or anything like that. Right. Nothing like that. But I was like kind of like. Sort of, ner- I didn't know what to make of it. I was sort of nervous, like just because I wasn't, I didn't have the conversations. I didn't have, but but as an act, as actors, it was. Was it because you're romantically involved in the movie, or? I don't know what. It, no, what? What do you mean romantically involved? Well, well because it, we're we're playing. Well, right. We 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 are actors, and we had we did have great chemistry. That was just what was on screen. But what's what was amusing to me was that off screen. I didn't feel that comfortable with him at that time. We okay. become friends. Nice. We become really good friends now. That relationship took. Uh, we were all cl- we're all close, but the Robert yeah. relationship, it took until the last couple right. years. Like I had some real conversations with him. Right. And it was became a whole different. It was like the relationship I would have wanted back then, but I didn't know how to get there with right. him. Just friendship. I'm just talking about friendship. Well, that's great. Yeah, yeah. And speaking so, of friends, uh, and I can't believe, wow, how fast this has gone. I got so many, so many things to get to. Oh yeah. No, no, no. We got more time, but yeah. Uh, one of our guests. Uh, but we're gonna do. We're gonna do another. We're gonna do another uh, show together because we haven't oh, found yeah. out anything no, about no, no, Brad. No, no, no. We, we, this is gonna 20, become a series. We've got about twenty minutes I would to go. Like I just, that. I was like, I can't believe it. <laughs> we have a series now. We got about twenty minutes to go. I just didn't know it was. It was that fast. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, one it's of really our guests, been... Jamie Gendron. Who's a stand-up Jamie. comedian, and uh, she is uh, oh, Eddie right. Murphy's favorite stand-up comedian. Oh, I was so uh, impressed that we had you on that I had to what? have her call in. Jamie, are you what? there? Yes, I'm here. Oh my god! Yeah. Hold on. Oh, hi. We're getting you louder. Hold on. We can't yeah, we're barely plugging hear you. you in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Here you are. You are you. Now we can hear <laughs> you. Yes, this is Jamie Gendron, who's uh, Eddie Murphy's favorite comedian. Jamie. But well, that's a whole well, that's a whole story. Hi, we'll Julia. Play. Oh, my God. You have a great voice. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Where are you? I am in Irvine, but I'm from New Orleans. Oh, wow. Well, hi. This is fun. This is another yeah. of your biggest fans. I can't oh. believe it. Oh, my God. One of my favorite scenes ever is in the whole bouncy house, <laughs> moon roof, moonwalk thing. Oh, Jamie, wow. really? You had to choose that scene to be your favorite? <laughs> this is no lie. Jamie had a rough no, childhood. Yeah, Mark will tell you in a heartbeat. I'm very, like, open book. Okay. And from that scene, later on, I lived in a place that was next door that had wrestling, like a real wrestling ring. Right. For girls to do girl and girl wrestling. Okay. Well... I took this little guy I was dating out there, and it was raining really hard, Ooh. and it was out in an open <laughs> courtyard. Sounded and sexy. Yes, I I had my own version. Of Baby. Like, Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I've got to rethink that whole. Behind it. Yeah. Was he a nerd? Thank you. Was he a nerd? Mark is asking. Was, was he a nerd, uh, was your boyfriend? A nerd? Yeah. He was a little bit nerdy. He was a little nerdy. Just nerdy yeah. enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, to get it know, done right. In New Orleans, it depends on how many drinks you've had. You know? <laughs> okay, that's well, oh well, that's true too, of course. Well, thank you for calling in, Jamie. We got Jamie. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and we're going to have you on in June, and uh, yes, we are. There'll be some. Uh, we're going to have a real nerd on with you at that time. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay. I'll look man. forward to that. Hi. Spanky, spanky action. That's oh, another, boy. That's oh, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay. Mark's, Mark's on a tear. <laughs> this right. is I can tell it's a warm up to something, Jamie. No, no. no. Well, I was, <laughs> well, was going to say, uh, Larry B. Scott. Larry B. Wild is not man. gay. No, uh-huh. he is not gay. Not gay. We all know that, but he used to announce that. No, no. I I, I knew that because I met of him. Of course, you knew it. But I, a couple I'm, weeks ago, we, people were like. No. He, he played it so well, we thought he was gay. People a few weeks ago thought or, that? Hannah? Wow. Oh. Yeah. Hannah thought that? Yes. No, he is brilliant. 
He's, oh, he's, a, as, he's a terrific actor. As, like, he, he actually, when we do these Comic-Cons, and sometimes we do a panel, mm-hmm. and he will do, have you ever seen, you might see, I don't know, some of the, since there's some of them taped, he does the way he did his audition. <laughs> he's so fucking funny. He's so <laughs> gay. He's so wonderfully gay. Like, you know, he's... He's, he's, he, but what I, what he I, used to be a serious wild man. From what I understand, because you all on the, the University of Arizona. Oh, yeah. And all everybody had their little fun. Yeah, Apparently, but, he was the biggest player on campus. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had the most girls. So oh, I never, I didn't see him very often. He was quite busy. Yes. And while we're at it, um, my really close friend, Brent, who was a, actually a guest on our show last week, he wanted me to tell you, give her my love. I love her. <laughs> See yeah. how you are adored. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so thank and you. And that's Brett in L.A. Thanks, Brett. Brett in L.A. <laughs> no, you saw, you. I mean, you saw how people came up to you. Uh, you yeah, see yeah. how people come up to you at these conventions. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, I, I've, had, very nice. I've had many, uh, many a guy uh, say, you know, I, 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 you know, that's my puberty and all that stuff. Yes. Is, oh, yeah. yes. Now, yeah, that's now how, what did true. you feel about the nude scenes back then and how do you feel about it now? Well, the nude scenes. Well, well there's the only one nude about, scene, really. Yeah, the good thing about the nude scenes for me was that, well, first of all, the, in contractually, they were only allowed like two or three seconds, and it was in the contract, so that was kind of good. But the, but the, what the real good thing was as far, I mean, that, that was good because it made me comfortable. That, Your agent negotiated to the second? Yes, they did. <laughs> wow. So Brett, I'm sure they notes. went over. But, <laughs> it's good but stuff. The, the, the part that made it like basically easy you know, with a relative term, easy for me to do, was because it, I was just getting into the shower. Right. I was just, there wasn't, like, it wasn't, it, it, I was just like, okay, you're just getting into the shower, you know, <laughs> talk myself down, what, what? or just getting into the shower. <laughs> and apparently, from what I understand, that, that that fraternity, it was like a rundown house, and they only made like one room and one hallway, like nine. Yes, yes. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I and, remember and that what, way. What makes the scene kind of, especially for modern audiences in the Me Too age, right. a little oh, well, dicey. That, that's you know, is that you're intercutting that with a bunch of nerds on the couch. <laughs> well, of course yeah, that's yeah, dicey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, yelling for your bush and all this other stuff. <laughs> and, and that's none of that is me. Now that part is not me. So you're just like taking a shower. You didn't know what was on the other side. And well, right. Well, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. But. But I mean, but those pranks, unfortunately, you know, or, or whatever, depending on who you are, fortunately and unfortunately, are kind of a part of college life, or you know, like just being I young in general and having of, fun. Yeah, it's sort of that's fine. I think the, obviously the thing that gets gets me in trouble is the is the moon bounce because it's it's rape, but yet yeah. I feel that this is the way I first of all I. I, Jeff, are you listening? I blame Jeff Canoe. Now, what, what, what did say, well, when did My this director. turn around where everybody was like, "Wait a second, this is rape"? No, this no, is a we pretty didn't recent, think that then. This we is pretty recent, that, though. We didn't think that then. No, no, but I mean, it's like but, probably the la- it, even when that was when the DVD came out, it was still okay. Yeah, like like uh, <laughs> Timothy Bus feels like I think it'd be PG thirteen if it was it was today. I'm like, really? Wow. And then the really? guy who played Worms is yeah. like, no, it'll be like an NC-17. Yeah, because um, PG-13 movies in the 90s versus now are totally different. But it would be a PG-13 That's movie. True. No, I know, I know. It would be an R movie, but I'm yeah. just saying this it depends like, on the be... decade. If you look at the right, yeah, totally. films and what mm-hmm. they allow. Well, right, mm-hmm. exactly. So what did you say, yeah. the last five years or maybe is when like, people yeah. are like, ooh, it's rape. Yeah, and, oh yeah, we have yeah. conversations about it. Like, yeah. they'll, mm-hmm. you know, certainly in interviews and stuff, but even every once in a while, like, Maybe at one of these events, it just, I mean, it, it kind of would just a little bit come up. Be, well, like a, it's in a question, it's in a panel, that w- it would right. be like in a panel thing. Because, uh, but you know, I th- the thing for me, and I'm stuttering, I'm stuttering, is, is that for Betty, Robert Lewis has been sort of, you know, trying to, lo- to warm her into seeing him as a person mm-hmm. for the entire movie. So, but she never warms to him. <laughs> Even right no, before that well, scene, he's like, oh, I you got to kiss okay. me. She's like, I'm not kissing a so nerd. So what I'm saying, why I'm blaming Jeff Canoe, and I do that with, with of course, yeah. Jess and stuff, but is that I do feel that there should have been another beat in that scene yeah. where it, you're where I was more, like, angry or startled. But right. you know what? It's a comedy, and, like, I don't know. I wish we had explored that, not because it was rape, just because or because that's more now than what any of us were thinking then. Although, 
there is that scene right before where you're like, I'm really horny. Maybe it was because of the nerd. Uh, and oh, you go up to yeah, you go up to Santa. Like <laughs> I, I, I've watched this a couple times well, see, last week. You're like, I'm really horny, and she's like, he's like, what are you a goat or something? Like he's that. horrible. He's horrible. Stan is a, hor- what are you a horrible, a goat? horrible line to yeah. me. What guy you're trying to have that, sex honestly. with him. Yeah. What? What guy says that? Honestly, though, this yeah. babe, this babe comes up behind you and like. I'm uh, you know, what are you? Too much? Exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. I know, it was, yeah. And conveniently, he left his faux his, Darth Vader yes. mask. It doesn't look like Darth Vader. <laughs> but yeah, but but see, my thing is that I think that Betty has been, I think that inside, over time, she is warming to him, but there's no friggin' way she can show it. She's, she's the sorority bitch. She's the mm-hmm. top sorority girl, blah, blah, blah. He, Te, you know, Stan is the top. They're meant to be together because mm-hmm. of what society yeah. and all of us, we all think we're looking for. And then slowly, Lewis creeps in on her. First, it's ridiculous. It's a creep. It's a creep. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so you all you see, and it's true, is me closing the door on him, you know, all that stuff, all that stuff, which was, I think, true. But I think over time, she would never would have been able to, I don't think, admit it. Like, this right. was a surprise that took her by surprise. I do think the scene is mi- is missing that, a beat. I, I, I think I think you're right. And but I know you get asked this question. But you had to melt after that. Right. Mm. Well, I know you got asked this scene. I, I asked this question at conventions. Yeah. How could you mistake that scrawny, nerdy body... It was dark. For Stan's muscular, <laughs> jockey body. I know. Stan is so friggin'... Ted is so gorgeous. But... But like when you, Robert, I didn't, Lewis, I didn't, we don't, you remember he had the, he had the cape on, like, it wasn't physically. Well, you grab his body, you can't. Yeah. I really hadn't grabbed his body yet. It was no, I mean, sort I'm, of, I'm, I'm, just sort taking, of in I'm, I'm talking in the moments. film, I'm talking in the film. I am too. Yeah, okay. No, <laughs> I am too, what do you mean? I'm talking to Betty, I'm not talking to Julia. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, you were, you were the afraid of booger, grab- I don't know what was going on. Well, that's all I'm telling you. <laughs> um, <laughs> you but, told me a lot. <laughs> No. Uh, but yeah, no. But we, remember, we didn't see. We didn't see. It was dark. It was. Yes. It was an atmosphere. Very, you know. And he had the cape on, and, and then right. he had the like. I, I hadn't. I wasn't. I wasn't like grabbing him to me. We're not, this all happened right. quickly. <laughs> right. well, it happened so quickly. I'm. Yeah. I'm going to skip over the whole penis side thought, thing, but uh, no. there was no at that time. It was mm-hmm. just what it was. Well, I think what wh- you you wh- know. Wh- what you saw. What happens Thank is... Thank God my dad is not listening to any yes. of these shows. <laughs> my parents were horrified. Right. We're not going to get into that. But my dad is still well, with what, us. What did your dad uh, feel when Reds and Nerds came out? Are you kidding me? It was me? a big hit. I'm, they are church-going Presbyterians. Oh. <laughs> Just church-going anything would have been f- enough. Because you know, first time and, I saw... Because I don't even know... like. First time I saw Reds and Nerds was with my parents. I'm just saying that as a detail, but what? Oh. We were, I hear this a lot. No, we were, it we were at, me we were at up. the video store, <laughs> and apparently, what we wanted to watch was not there. And they're like, "You pick something out." I'm like friends and the nerds, are like friends and the nerds. Okay, <laughs> sounds silly. And they <laughs> sounds loved stupid. it. They thought it was hilarious. <laughs> they loved it. And I think what saves the movie, oh, I mean, besides the rape and all that other stuff, <laughs> is I at tell, the end, I tell you, the Mark. speech. And the We Are the Champions and yes. that whole thing. The sweetness of, I mean, the sweetness of, actually, this is, it's, the nerds love their parents. Yeah. Mark, the whole point of this movie is the heart of it. I'm yes. sorry. I know you're the host. <laughs> no, no, please. <laughs> but, God forbid I should talk. No, so, so the whole point of this movie is how we are all, that's why, you know, I'm babbling around, and stuff, but we are all inside. We all have the nerd parts of us. Mm-hmm. And so does Betty. And you know why? Because why would you be with someone like Stan, who's such a, a mean to her, really yes. ugly to her? Yes. So I mean, we all have that part of us that is whatever, whatever we want to call it. And so when she finally admits that this is the guy she she is falling or falling in love with, and then they're in love, it's like a, it's it, she's. I'm just the symbol in that movie of change. And that you know, and and that we're all really broken a little bit, of right. course, Agreed. obviously, and that that we should, you know, like really accept people, not just by the first, you know, the the, the look. Yeah, and, and I mean, take those glasses off, you know. Obviously, you see, you know, you know, Robert. He's he's a very handsome. He's not like 
he's not just he's not yeah. he's not you know only that look he's pretty hairy though but uh he has a lot of he's got a lot of fur but then <laughs> a- 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 anthony edwards and james cromwell became big stars after oh that oh my god james cromwell who played the dad yes who apparently originated the honking laugh yes okay <laughs> created in the car when they were rehearsing or right. I, I think it was in the car I, I, we'd have to ask robert to make sure or right. curtis because right fact gathers, now you were but... not in Revenge of the Nerds too, which uh, I certainly was not. Was please I tell insulted? me about that. Okay, I wasn't insulted. They asked me, mm. but on page six, it was not written by the same writers, so that is one thing. Right, you've never seen it. I've seen you it. I may, I may have actually walked out. <laughs> That's a little petty in there. You can feel the hair flip, right? Like, <laughs> but okay, they wanted me to do it on page six of the script. They have Betty sleeping with a jock in a hotel room of that script. Oh. And I'm like, did you not see the movie? There is no way that I would have done that. This was a huge transition for Betty. Right. I That was the, it, it, symbolically the heart of the movie. My transition was just, mm-hmm. you know, not that my, but that was the, to me, the journey yeah, of the I get movie. It. Yeah. And there was no way that I said, so the director, they really wanted me to come down. I was working on another project, but I could, was going to be able to figure it out, except for that, uh, you know, this was, I, there was no way I was going to do it like this. And the director got on the phone with me, you know, assured me they were going to change the script when we were down there. We were mm. going to rewrite it. And I got on the phone with Curtis. He called me and he said, I said, Curtis, I don't know what to do with this, with this. I don't know what to do because I can't believe what they have me doing. Mm -hmm. And how, how much I'm saying to Curtis, you know, how much can they change the script? How much can they, like, what are they going to change it to that I'm in the hotel room with a jock on Mm -hmm. page six? Mm -hmm. I was so mad. And so he's like, believe me, they're not, they're not giving us the freedom that that they said they would, because they were already shooting. They were already in the shoot. Right. And so he said, you know, you don't believe them because they're not doing what they said with us. And mm. we're not giving us the freedom that we had, that w- we all did this, insist- insisting right. upon that. And probably even, I don't know, if I didn't see anyone's contract, but he's like, I'm like, okay, then I'm not doing it. Because that's the other thing about the original. Not only is it the, the message at the end, but it was all the improv. Oh, oh what the fuck is a frosh? And oh, even oh, oh, all of David Carradine, when he's like, I, we love you when you're mad. That's an ad lib. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was so much fun. Because I was uh, on that scene. Uh, 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 that was That's the so rate scene. much fun. So I had gone home <laughs> for the day. I had gone over the day, uh, you know, on that shoot. And then I get to my room and, you know, they're still shooting. It wasn't like this sh- the day hadn't been wrapped, but it was. And, and so I, I get home to my room and I'm thinking, okay, one of the guy, one of my guys, you know, Curtis and the guy is going to be done. And s- mm-hmm. I get a phone call. Julia, uh, some, like the AD or somebody called, I don't remember who. Can you come back to this? Just asking, would you come back to the set? There's something he wants to do. I'm like, yes. <laughs> That's all, always how I was. Right. I mean, it was so much fun. So I got back to the set and he's like, okay, this, you know, this wasn't written, but what I want you to do is um, walk down the hall and sing um, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And, um, oh no, that's a different scene. That's a different one we made up. So this right. one, he's like, no, I just want you to go up on the balcony and come out, come out and we'll just do it from, the, like, just do it from there. So I come out and Robert screams that line. This is not scripted, so it was a total surprise. How fun. And I, like, do whatever, you know, walk back yeah. in. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a bet. I mean, it was so fun. And then the other scene like that was the one when I walked down the hall before I go into the sh- before I take my robe off to get into the shower. And I'm singing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Mm-hmm. E-I-E-I-O, down that hallway before yeah. the one room. Yeah, the pigs, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he just, that Jeff Canoe, he's so... He's so fun to work with. He's mm-hmm. so talented. Right. So anyway, that's all, that's all I have to say. Hmm. Now, your picture was in Revenge of the Nerds too. Did you get paid for that? Yes. I'm okay. sure I did. Yeah, you have to. Oh, okay, good. You have to. All right. I don't and remember. And so but, technically, yeah. Lewis cheats on you with Courtney Ford Smith. Well, in the movie. Yeah. he did. And you know what? Had I cheated on him, I would never have seen any of other right. scripts. Not that right. the rest of you saw them either. But they, no, no, we, no, we, no, were I, shot, I, we shot I three and four. No, I did. I did. Oh God! I, uh, you saw the I, three I was saw so boring. Three and four, because I knew you were going to be there and there. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Well, three was really boring, but four I thought was adorable. Well, Obviously, the first one's the best. Here's the thing the about best. three. Here's the thing, and we're we're running out of time. Thank yeah. goodness. Now we're talking about those. But here's the thing about three. Three is prescient. Is what? It's prescient because I don't every, know. Jeez, I everybody's a, a nerd a... now. Oh, oh yeah. So basically, that the the whole conceit of that movie is the nerds took over the school. Yeah, it's kind of like the world now. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's it, it predicted the future. Yes. Well, yeah. 
And so, Ted Ted McGinley's character, Stan, came out as a nerd. Yeah. But I mean, the whole thing Had was. Had he only was, known that when we were dating? Yes. Oh. Well, what he, he a, kept trying to get you. That would have and, been. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I'd already fallen deep in love with Lewis, so that's it. Even Goodbye. though he cheated on you in, in Resident Nerds, so she didn't. I, I didn't don't know. know how I resolved that. As I said, I walked out of the movie, so luckily Robert didn't have to deal with my wrath. Like, why didn't you change right. that script, Robert? Because you just <laughs> wanted to be with that girl as an actor. And I'm guessing, Thanks, Robert. And I'm guessing <laughs> that she got a Booger's trailer. I'm guessing that he. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing yeah. That number three. There was very even the improvisation was even worse there, because oh no you it didn't what happened was we didn't have Jeff, so three and four yeah two as his own animal again right, right. you have nothing to do with three that. yeah nothing to do with it three and four it just you know we didn't have Jeff had we had Jeff and he but he I'm sure he turned it I'm pretty positive right. he it would have been because he knows how to. He knows how to. You, well, but we didn't. We weren't allow. It wasn't an allowing. Well, here's the weird thing about that is, they have a whole new generation of nerds. Right. And they're portrayed by very talented people. Yes. Oh yes. Shy McBride plays oh, one no, of the nerds. Yeah, absolutely. John Panette, the late John Panette. Yes. Yes. But they're, they're, uh, Henry Cho's a great comedian, but they use him horribly. Yeah. John Panette has an English accent. He can't pull it off. But he's a funny guy. Just let him be a funny guy. Oh, totally. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, see, Henry Cho is like an Elvis. It's like it sucks. But, yeah, I agree. But you are good at it. Oh, thank you. Because you kind of take over the Anthony Edwards role oh. as the sweet one. Oh. And kind of nice. the conscience. I'm gonna. I'm not Robert gonna watch Carity. that again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Four. I. I. I, I you I, didn't like four. It was hard. And I heard four was I love nerds was supposed love. to be a pilot for Curtis Armstrong as a booger show. No, it was it to be our show? Revenge oh, so, of the Nerds, like a series. Okay. Yeah. And what happened? It's you know Fox never understood how to or I don't know I don't, like who's thinking over there like then for this movie they never gave it the right advertising ever mm-hmm. they put it up against something or other I don't remember the fourth one in the schedule it, it was well, like a three D all... marathon like everybody yeah that's has right to it was just yeah. uh, it it should have been given it's why are you doing it if you're not going to g- right. You had a birth in 3D, apparently. <laughs> you gave birth during Booger's wedding. Oh my God! And no one, you know, it's TV. No one can give birth with their legs like, like maybe mm-hmm. like this. Yes, in, 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 in a long like... dress. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I, funny. Uh, uh, skip three and four, just just for me. Yeah, yeah. You skip three. For skip sure. two. I put it on for a few minutes. I was like, okay. no, two. <laughs> yeah, no. Two has two funny parts. And does uh, it? I'll, I'll watch it again. Uh, 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 and ogre pees for uh, two minutes straight, which is funny. Listen, I background. love my boy. I love my cast. My my cast. And, and how, uh, ogre? What, what do you think about ogre? Ogre is a teddy bear. Yes. You wouldn't know it. Right. He is such a teddy bear. Yeah. He he. In the beginning, they were. He was one of the very busy ones and extremely into. I'm sure he so, and Larry B were. Uh, oh yeah, my god! Yeah. yeah, we never saw them. Neck and neck. And uh, I mean, we saw them briefly, and then bye bye. I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> goodbye. Be and careful. Did, be did good. you get in trouble with some of the co-eds? No, no, no. I'm very. You got low. hit I'm on. Low. You got hit on by the college boys. I'm sure. I'm what? sure I did, but I I'm a one person, one on one person. Nice to know. Yeah. Now before <laughs> we go, and I can't believe. That's been an hour. That's probably more than an I hour. I can't either. Uh, we oh, we're just getting both of you back. We're, know, not we're, gonna be, we're not going to be able to sleep tonight. It's, it's going to be like a so show. Many it's well like a show. We're all yeah. hyped up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> it, it may be the tea. But no, mine's what is the, what is the, what is the <laughs> oddest reaction you've gotten at a convention from a nerd when, fan? Oh, or when someone was, or what? Or oddest request. Oh, yeah. Uh, when... It happened fairly recently. Uh, by the way, I'm doing a couple more shows. Yeah, I've please. got one. Yeah, I've we'll, got one. We'll we'll get to that. Uh, they had a they had a you know, of course anyone can take stills out of the movie. Mm-hmm. So they had a really a, a large f- photograph of me after I'd taken the rope. Off. Oh, <laughs> boobs, uh, everything. <laughs> and they wanted me to sign it. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, I can't do that. Oh, I really, you know, I mean, I'm a nice person. I, under, you know, but I'm like, I just can't do it. And then he's like, then I'm like, I f- I'm starting to feel bad, but I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I don't know. There isn't an amount of money that would make me feel differently about it. So it was like, and then I said, well, for the second where I thought, well, maybe I should do it because he brought it and all this stuff. And this is in part of his collection. And now he has this. He has all <laughs> his that. Collection. Fuck. His and I'm like, of, yeah. 
Um, well, then I'd I have to at least personalize it because I don't. Not that anyone can't do what he did and print out print it out, but it mm-hmm. just the I right. couldn't sign it. Mm-hmm. It's me naked. I said, "Hey, I have kids. I mean, they're grown. They right. they've seen. You know, it's not like. But I just don't want to." Mm-hmm. He was he was upset. But anyway, I'm sure. But well, you I mean, sell pies, but the pies have the whipped cream. The cover. pies are like PG, so it's really yeah. fun because yeah. it's like, oh, they remember the moment. But I'm not like selling, right. you know, a boob shot. Right. And and it's funny. And, and people love and it. Brett, you do a lot of conventions. Yeah. You do a lot of oh. cosplay at conventions. Hmm? What's the weirdest what? thing that's happened to you at a convention? Uh, <laughs> I think it was at the Anime Expo. I was taking pictures with some people, and this guy came up behind me, and he was he's dressed as one of the uh, one of those. Assassins from Assassin's Creed is short. Ooh. He was like a like a foot and a half shorter than me. He tried to trip me. Like I'm like what? what? Yeah, ah! exactly. What were you dressed as? Uh, Roger Klotz from like Doug Nickelodeon. He's like the, 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 the green. Yeah. I'm like hey, what are you God. doing, pal? You know that was in character. So I, I kind of just. Oh, well, that was sweet. Oh, that's great. To stay in character and made it funny. Yeah, but, it was, but what the heck? But yeah. Seriously, like who does a complete stranger? Uh, so I kind of just right. pinned him against the window. Good. It was just so weird. Yeah. And maybe that he, maybe he's got beef with, with Doug. Mm-hmm. Probably. The, with the, yeah. Anyway, the character. I had to like look straight down. I'm like, what is that? Yes. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, I'm a huge, huge fan of your makeup. I've always like. You know, I've always liked your photos, and mm. you're you're incredible. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Lots more things coming. Come I know. And, and, <laughs> matter of fact, uh, that's a great segue because I can't believe how fast this hour went. That's when you know it's a good show. Mm-hmm. Yes. Tell us what you got coming up. Uh, right now, get all of you. coincidentally, there's a show I'm doing. Um, uh, opens June 21st called Masters of the Dark Realm, mm. yeah, and it's a I show. Um, pretty much, it's a group of friends, all nerds, nerd gamers. Oh my. Yeah, and they play this game that's similar to uh, like Dungeons and Dragons style. Mm-hmm. You know, where they get dressed up and they play all together, play every week. And you know, they're like early thirties; they're coming of age. And there's a couple. <laughs> yeah, they uh, these days that's when you come of age. That's right? true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, you know like, it is true. You, know, you never truly I, grow up, but uh, no, that's there's, true. Yeah, there's, there's a couple. They have a, a baby, or they're pregnant, and you know, they're like, oh, things are gonna change now. Like mm-hmm. they're they're pretty like, all right, we're not really gonna play the game, but the other friends are like well what are we gonna do and you know you know it kind of like uh tears at them a little bit it kind of like makes their friendship rocky and in the second act some uh some tragedy happens mm-hmm. unfortunately uh you know that kind of like pushes them all apart and they figure a way to come back together and sounds like a cool play yeah how long is it running i want to come i believe it's eight 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 shows nice. uh four weekends is, is the oh, nice. hollywood friend festival uh it's not uh but actually uh but it's it's the actors' workout studio. It's a standalone show. Right, mm-hmm. Force of Nature. Julie, I'm going to take you to see this. Okay, we're going. Play. Yeah, it's a date. I'd love to have you guys. Yes, we're all, we're give all us going. the dates. Give us the dates of the theater it's at. So the uh, here's the postcard. June 21st right. to July 13th. Perfect. Fridays and Saturdays. Right. Yeah, at Lancashire Boulevard, North Hollywood. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's going to be a blast. It's going to be a nice, yeah. intimate show. It's it's a heavy show. Yeah. And it's um, a heavy show. Yeah. I'm heavy, intrigued. intimate show and fun. That's fun That's too. That's a girl's dream. We like heavy and intimate. We oh, do. Really? We really do. <laughs> well, pretty look, much. Look no further. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> and how do people get a hold of you? Uh, they can, you know, I have my Facebook page, uh, my. Facebook fan page. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, Ooh, look you at know, that. I try to respond to all the messages yes, as Brett. soon as I possibly can. So it's just Brett Gustafson, hyphen Malicious Sid, which is uh, my alternative name when I do yes. like uh, alternative fun. things. That's a Malicious good name. Oh, fun. Yeah, you know. Oh, you're so so. He's, so he's, risky he's the coolest. And yeah, crazy. I, 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 we, I, I, we gotta <laughs> hang out with this guy more. I, I gotta have him on the show more. Oh, We're gonna have you on God. again soon. We'll and uh, and yeah, it's always a pleasure. I. I uh, I, I've been so nerding out, and so I, I, I and you have too with all the stories. But yeah. we'll have you, we'll have you back around the time the play is going on. Yes, and we'll talk more about you because you are fascinating. I remember last time you were on, you were you were terrific, and uh, always always love hanging out with you. I love that. Mm-hmm. And Julia, yeah, I want to mm-hmm. come back. I want to come back too. I won't talk as much. <laughs> promise. No, 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 no. We I, enjoyed I, it. We, but we, no, we, this I I'm, I can't wait to learn more about Brett. Hmm. All right, well then we'll we'll have this on uh, probably uh, late next month or, or July somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah, Fun. sounds good. But uh, summer Julia, closeout. Uh, your, <laughs> I love that. Your yeah. website is uh, Julia Montgomery Actress dot com. Yes, it is. But oh. this is so funny. You're making me. Yeah, yeah. That is. That is. <laughs> yes. And yes. Uh, and uh, I was going to say uh, it's. Uh, uh, do you have any products that you're working on right now? 
Um, right now, I'm actually not doing anything. I just did a commercial for something, but right now I'm doing some real estate projects. I've got a couple things right. in escrow. That's great. Yeah, really fun. And then I'm going next week. Well, it's almost next week. It's June. I'm going to do the Niagara Falls Comic Con. Oh, great. And th they're supposed to be wonderful. Like, the guy who's running that show has been already setting things up. Oh, that's I mean, terrific. They, they seem amazing. Then... So Niagara Falls, and then I'm doing the the, the uh, 80s in the sand again in the Dominican in November, and in between I'm not. Uh, there's a couple of other things right. that aren't set yet, but Niagara but, Falls and the Dominican Republic. Yeah, Niagara Falls, like <laughs> yeah, crazy. No, my grandmother's from Niagara Falls. Oh, I, really? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Oh, I've never been, so I'm kind of excited. Oh yeah, it's, oh, yeah. Well, geez, I, I I should show you around. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Anyway, that's right. Anyway, uh, Julia Montgomery, formerly Julia Montgomery. Same, yeah. A pleasure. Oh, thank you. I, I, we could talk oh, all you. night. I know. I know. Uh oh, booger style. But uh, booger we, style. we we only have so much time. You have so been you fun. have been a delight. I've got so many more nerd questions. Oh, excellent. We'll have to to be continued. Yes, to be continued. And Hannah, hey, Hannah. Hannah Box six 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 on Instagram, and that's B A K K. Yes, not B A. Yes. Not B A C H. I'm a B A K K. And uh, oh, I have I have something. I, I yeah, have, please go ahead. I have. You guys have to help me with it because I am such a nerd, but okay. not the right kind of nerd in this way. <laughs> I have an Instagram that I haven't done anything with called The Real Betty Childs. Oh. So I need your help. That we could will be post fun. this to The Real Betty Childs and hashtag it up. Yes, yeah, yes. definitely. I'm such a nerd, mm -hmm. but in the other way, in oh, the wrong way. I like that. that. Like, you're going to get so many Instagram followers uh, from this. Fun. At The Real Betty Childs and also at Goth Comedian. Everybody have a wonderfully nerdy week. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Nerds!